Hello and thanks for watching. In the last of these VATSIM videos, David joins me again as co-pilot and we do a little bit more than what we would do normally. We're going to go from Glasgow down to Blackpool and we're going to do a bit more planning than we'd normally worry about on VATSIM. We're going to keep a pilot's log and we're going to incorporate some checklists as well. We're expecting a westerly departure from Glasgow. And then we'll turn and head southeast to look for uh, East Kilbride VRP. Once we find that, we'll just track southeast until we meet the motorway. And then we're just going to follow the motorway wiggling down through the mountains. Once we get down to Gretna, then we will take up a, a compass heading and we've done a little bit of wind correction calculation there. Wind is from the southwest at five knots so there's about a two degree wind correction angle to be done there. There are a few landmarks that we might sort of be able to make out en route but provided my wind calculations are approximately correct and provided I'm able to fly accurately after 40 minutes we should arrive within sight of the golf course VRP here and then it's just a matter of heading uh, a bit east of south assuming a westerly arrival into Blackpool. We've also done some fuel calculations which I've got here and we're going to keep a track of the fuel consumption as we go along there isn't any controlled airspace en route we need to avoid. We'll be departing from the Scottish uh, control sector and arriving in the London North Centre. So if London North does come online, then we can ask them to control us into Blackpool. Even though it doesn't have controlled airspace around it, it's one of those aerodromes that VATSIM do control from time to time. OK, so I've set the fuel and I've put you in as 77 kilos. I'm assuming you're wearing a very heavy jacket. <laughs> with a parachute, probably. <laughs> the fuel has changed, yeah. Yeah, so the needle's just it's above 10 just above now. 10. Yeah, good. All right, so that's your 21 gallons. <clears throat> yep. I am ready when you are then, sir. To, should we do the outside checks first? The We'll have to talk to each other through the window because, um, you know, some of it's in the cockpit. Yeah, that's fine. OK, uh, uh, Peter, cover is removed and... Um, so the, pi checked. the the pilot's operating handbook is available in the airplane. OK, check. The okay. airplane weight and balance... Uh, we've done. Have we? Well, we haven't actually checked the balance, but... No. Um, well, I can tell you that we're going to be within limits because um, both of us are lightweight and we don't have any baggage and we've only got 20 gallons of fuel. Okay. The parking brake is set. Isn't actually set. I can't I can't set it for you. Parking brake. Parking brake is set. Parking brake, yep. Control wheel lock is removed. Check. Yep. Ignition switch is off. Check. Avionics master switch is off. Check. And um, the master switch is off. Check. Yeah. Uh, fuel quantity indicators, check quantity and ensure low f low fuel indicators are extinguished. Check. Avionics master switch on. Uh, we'll need the battery on to do that, though, won't we? Um, avionics cooling fan. Check audibly for operation. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Avionics master switch off. Switch <laughs> it off. There we are. Short and sweet, isn't it? Um, static pressure alternate source valve off. Alternate source valve off. Enunciator panel switch, place and hold in test position and ensure all enunciators are illuminated. Okay, I don't think that's modelled in the sim. They're not coming on with the test. And uh, release that. OK, fuel select uh, valve both. Yep. Fuel shut off valve on. That's pushed fully in. Hmm, I 
can't put it in. Are you able to put it in? No, I can't either. <laughs> it was in. <laughs> now I've touched it, it's staying out. <laughs> uh, it's now asking us to extend the flaps. Okay. Well, it's electrically driven, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Battery on then. I'm an idiot, I turned the battery off. Yep, flaps are descending. Okay. Good. And then I think we're going to check those from the outside in a minute. Yeah. So we need to check the pitot heat is on. So, One pitot, to touch after 30 seconds. pitot heat switch on. Yeah. I'll get out of the plane. Warming up. Okay. Warming up. Yeah. Uh, pitot heat off. I, I am able off. to control that. Yeah. So off it is. Yeah. Elevator trim set for takeoff. Yep. Okay, just set for takeoff. Check. Baggage doors, check and lock with key. Uh, I guess. Don't even know okay. where they are. You don't know where the keys are? You didn't bring the keys? <laughs> Autopilot static source opening if installed. Check for blockage. Okay, don't know what that is. Okay, down to the tail end. Uh, rudder gust lock if it's installed, remove it. Didn't have one. Tail tie down, disconnect. Connected. Okay. Control surfaces. Can we check freedom of movement and security? Yeah, wiggled those. They're fine. Okay. Uh, trim tab. Check security. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, fine. And antenna. Check for security of attachments and general condition. Yeah. Right wing trailing edge. Aileron. Check. Freedom of movement and security. Wiggle, wiggle. Yep. Flap. Check for security and condition. Yep. And the right wing tie down is disconnected. Yep. Yep. Uh, the main wheel tyre, just check it's properly inflated. Looks good. Kick, kick. Yep. Fuel tank, sump, quick drain valves. You've got to drain at least a cup full of fuel and just have a look at the condition of it. Make sure there's no water in it. Glug, glug, glug. Yeah, it looks fine. And uh, the fuel filler cap is secure and the vent unobstructed. Check. Okay. Nose. The fuel strainer. Quick drain again. Glug, glug, glug. Good. Engine oil. Dipstick filler cap. Check the oil level. Dip, dip, dip. Fine. Um, engine cooling air inlet. Clear of obstruction. Clear. Propeller and spinner, check for nicks. Look good. Air filter, please check for restrictions of dust and other foreign matter. It's clean. Nose wheel strut and tyre, uh, chest check for proper inflation. Looks good. Kick, kick. Left static source opening, check for blockage if we had one. Mm. Okay, the left wing, fuel quantity again, just check the uh, desired level. Glug, glug, glug. Yep. Fuel filler cap, check it's secure. Uh, the fuel tank sump quick drain valve drain at least a cup full. Yeah, glug glug glug. And the main wheel tyre check for proper inflation. Yeah, that's fine. Left wing leading edge fuel tank vent open check for blockage. <clears throat> yep, fine. Door warning opening check for blockage. Yep. Wing tie down disconnect. Yep. Uh, landing lights and taxi lights check for condition and cleanliness of cover. Yeah. The trailing edge, can you check the aileron for freedom of movement? Wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. And the flaps, Good. check for security and condition. Yep. Okay, that's before starting engine, uh, so the pre flight inspection is complete. Excellent. We both, no, both need to be in the uh, cockpit now. Okay. Interesting, actually, in that handbook, it doesn't tell you to check that the lights are working. Let's assume we've done that as well. Yeah. Okay, passenger briefing. You've been involved with everything at this yeah. stage and I don't really know what else is involved with the passenger briefing. Seats and seat belts are just and lock checked on this side. Uh, the brakes test and set. There's pressure in the tow brakes. Yeah, parking brake is on. Circuit breakers, just check they're all in. All in. 
and the all uh, the electrical equipment now should be off. Yeah, it's all off. The avi avionics master switch should be off. Yep. Fuel selector valve both. Yep. Fuel shut off valve on. That's fully pushed in. Mm, it isn't. We might have to fudge that in a minute. Uh, avionics circuit breakers check they're in. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Can't see any other circuit breakers. Shall I ring up and ask for start permission? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to want departure to South. East Kilbride, isn't it? We said. Via Barhead, yeah. Okay. Glasgow approach. Good morning. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie is on the uh, GA apron at uh, Glasgow. Cessna 172 with two POB request. Engine start for VFR departure to the south via um, East Kilbride VRP. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, Glasgow radar. Good uh, morning. Start up is approved. Glasgow QH 1038 using runway 23. Start approved, runway 23 in use, go for Teleka Remia Charlie. Okay, so we have battery master on. Okay. Uh, alternator master on. Beacon light on. Beacon on. Fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Mixture rich. Rich. Um, <clears throat> the required time has now passed, so fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. Mixture to idle or cut off. Yep. Throttle at a quarter open. Yep. And uh, we're going to start by looking around and just making sure the prop area is clear. I see nobody. Oh, okay. there's a guy just walked back. <laughs> just walked past me. Um, start the engine. Okay, shouting clear prop. Now this isn't going to start, is it? Because of that fuel um, isolator. I'll try doing the auto start, and then I'll switch everything off and come back to this state. Done that. So I'm going to try now. Manually starting. See what happens. I think we're off. Okay. Okay, so that knob is still out, but the engine's running now, so I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so your mixture now advanced to rich, yes? Yep. RPM to a thousand? Yep. Uh, temperatures and pressures, we'll check that. Uh, so, yes, the oil pressure has been seen to rise, otherwise, we'd shut down immediately. Yep, they're starting to come up. <laughs> Avionics master on. Yep. Navigation lights on as required. As required, yeah. Uh, flaps retract. Check. Coming up. Radios on. Yep, the radios are on. Altimeter, SP. And that is showing an altitude of about 25. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, and the direction indicator, press D. That should be reading 110. 110, yeah, I wish it is. Okay, so before taxi, the taxi lights on. Yep. And the parking brake off. Oh, is that it? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, right, let's set the heading bug to runway heading. I'd expect him to say but via taxiway alpha and char hold at Charlie 1. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, request taxi. 
Golf on wheel, Charlie, taxi right on Alpha, left Charlie, hold Charlie 1. Clear answer, hold. Right on Alpha, left on Charlie, hold at Charlie 1. Go for Telica Remy, Charlie. Check the tow brakes now. Yeah, they feel good. Okay. Next is going to be the run-up checks. A hold. So as we're taxiing, I'm checking the uh, turn indicator is looking appropriate and the direction indicator is moving appropriately. It looks like a runway. Yeah, I was just querying that on the chart. Okay, so that's out of date scenery, isn't it? That's actually a disused runway. Okay, ready for run up checks? Yep, parking brake on. Yep. Rottle to 1800. Switch to Magneto 1. Looking for a drop of small, uh, small maximum. Drop. That's okay. We check right, number 2. Okay. I'm just trying to do that now. 1, 2. Yeah, that's okay. The maximum difference of 50. That's fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Back to both. Oh, throttle back. So it's a before takeoff checklist next. The parking brake okay. is set. Set. Uh, seats and seat belts are checked and secured. Yep. Correct. Checked here. Cabin doors are closed and locked. Mine's good. Yours good? Mine's good. Okay. Flight controls free and correct. Good from my side. Yep. Flight instruments, check and set. Seventy five. Yeah, just jump that a bit. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Fuel quantity, yeah. check. Yeah, twenty gallons. Brim set. Yep. Mixture rich. Yep. Magnetos both. Yep. Fuel selector both. Yep. Flaps as required. No flaps today. Nav lights on. Nav lights on. Strobe lights on. Strobe on. Frequency set. Yep. Transponder set to mode C. Squawking 7,000 for the moment. Heading bug set to runway. Check. Yep. Taxi lights off. Yep. Landing lights on. Yep. Autopilot master off. Yep. Okay, ready to contact tower for takeoff. Okay. Uh, it's a little bit chilly today, so I'm going to have pito heat on as well. Okay. Uh, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, holding Charlie 1, ready for departure. Golf Romeo Charlie, Roger, hold position. Uh, after departure, clear to leave the Glasgow control zone by the East Coast Bride BRP, not above 2,000 feet on the Glasgow QNH 1038, squawk 2604. After departure, cleared to leave the zone 
uh, via the East Kilbride VRP, not above 2,000 feet on 1038, Squawk 2604, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie. Golf Romeo Charlie, read back, correct, report when you're ready. Wilco, Golf Romeo Charlie. I've set the transponder. Okay, so there's a dude just taking off now, I think. Wait till he's rolled past and then we'll call in and say we're ready for departure. An airliner, I'm seeing you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're ready to go. Here he goes. I think he's going to uh, Dublin. Go for Romeo Charlie, ready for departure. Golf Romeo Charlie, line up and wait, runway 23, two minute delay. Line up and wait, runway 23, go for Romeo Charlie. Takeoff will probably be 11.35. So fuel remaining at this point is just over 20 gallons, got about 20 and a half. Okay, let's just take a time out for a moment just to look at the pilot's log. This is a pilot's log for simulators. I'm not a real pilot. I'm not suggesting that you would use this in the real world. Uh, this is just something that I like to do to sort of practice some extra elements of the simulated flights. So at this stage of the flight I have filled out already uh, uh, this section of the pilot's log. I've got my uh, legs in it for the flight, any anticipated headings allowing for wind drift are in this column here so I can see them at a glance. I've got the anticipated time for each leg uh, in here and then the um, uh, clock time based on when we took off is filled in here each leg as we go so if we take off at 11.36 and I'm expecting the next leg to be 8 minutes long then I'm expecting to arrive at time 44 here and the actual time that we arrive is written in here and then that means you can then calculate the next estimated time of arrival there. I've taken a note of how much fuel we've got on the runway just as we're about to depart here and then for each waypoint I'm making a note of how much fuel I've got remaining so I can keep an eye is it what I'm expecting to use and in fact it would be more useful to have a second column in this bit to write down your anticipated fuel in advance so I don't have to do mental calculations as we go along. Uh, as you've seen already we've got the radio frequencies that are required here. I've been writing down my taxi instructions and my departure clearance there. I've got a note of the Windsor Loft that I took from the Met Office website. And any notes sort of as we go along will be written down here. It's not easy to spend all this time doing planning uh, when you're doing a VATSIM flight and writing down all this stuff because if you spend half an hour doing this there's a good chance your ATC controller will have gone. So I don't really do it very often on VATSIM. It's only because I had a co-pilot to share the load and uh, if I was flying offline maybe I'd spend longer with planning and practicing all these calculations. Golf on Charlie surface wind 230 degrees 7 knots, runway 23, take clear takeoff. Runway 23, cleared for takeoff, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie. Okay, climbing at 70 knots, uh, flaps retract, not relevant, mixture, we're going to lean them, well, whenever, 
and landing lights off. Roger that. Just let me trim up a little bit. We'll we'll keep the landing lights on if that's all right. Just because in the simulator it's difficult to see aircraft, isn't it? Are you past the end of the threshold, so you want to put a left in on one five zero. Okay. Charlie, radar control report is Kilbride. Uh, radar control will report is Kilbride. Go for it, mate, Charlie. We're going to hit our head in a moment, and then we'll turn to 110. Okay. Is that that little urban area coming up? Yeah. With a lake beyond it. Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. Go for him here, Charlie, approaching East Kilbride. Go for him, Charlie, go to leading control, the airspace, radar control, uh, terminate. Service for Joy. Request basic service outside, go for him here, Charlie. Go for him, Charlie, go to basic service, uh, QNH 1038. Uh, if you can report uh, M74 for me. It's a basic service, QNH 1038, and we'll report the M74. Go for me, Charlie. Okay, so we want to fly on a heading now, don't we? Yeah, 124. I'll put in for you. Oh, some pretty big wind farm down there that I'm dangerously close to. Wasn't keeping a very good lookout, was I? Okay, should we do a Frida check? Yeah, fuel. Okay. Uh, yeah, so selectors on both, and we've got 20 gallons remaining, which is what we expect, isn't it? Yep, radios. We're tuned to radar. Yeah. Uh, engine T's and P's. Logan 7125, feedback kit. T's and P's are green. Yeah. Oh, fuel, actually, fuel flow is quite high, so it's obviously wanting to be leaned a bit. Yeah. Hang on, let's just try that. Yeah, that's come down massively, and the RPM hasn't changed at all. Okay, sorry, yeah, next thing, direction uh, indicator. The altitude. Oh, altimeter, uh, so we're still on 1039, and, yeah. and we're outside uh, of controlled airspace now, aren't we? Yeah, and D and B to press. Uh, direction indicator should be... Uh, one, two, five. Yeah, we are good. Hey, we're coming up to the motorway. You see it now. I do. Turn yep. in to follow that now. Go for Romeo, Charlie, joining the M74. Golf from Charlie, thank you. Basic service uh, terminates uh, Scottish offline. Continue Unicom 122 decimally and squad conspicuity takes to flight. Uh, change to Unicom 122 decimal 8 and squad conspicuity. Many thanks for the service. Golf from here, Charlie. Okay, we've gone on to Unicom. And transponder is 7000. Cool. Right, ready for the drinks trolley now then? Yeah. Hang on. What are we dram with that? <laughs> uh, not while I'm driving, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, the days of requiring Dutch courage to get on Vatsim are, are behind me now, I think. Aren't they? So when we get to Gretna, I think we are halfway there, really, aren't we? Roughly speaking. Yes, yep. We are. So, uh, and then just leaving the Scottish uh, fur then as well. 
And our trip fuel is 14 gallons, so I expect so we can use up to seven gallons to get there. So we'll we'll check that when we get there. Be interesting yeah. to see whether it's vaguely realistic. Mixture's okay. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I've slightly enriched it, actually. Um, yeah, we're we're leaned for max RPM. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll be coming up to the water fairly soon, uh, and after this, what are we heading for next? Well, the we Gulf would be Club, taking a direct south then. To, okay. Uh, so the next heading I've calculated adjusting for wind will be 184. If you could whack that into the heading indicator, please. Now? Yeah. Do you want to get to Gretna to do that accurately? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to follow the road to Gretna. Okay. Okay, so should we do a Frida check before we hit Gretna? Yep. So no, fuel. we're on both and... I see that we've got, looks like we've got about 8 gallons in each tank, so 16 gallons remaining. So we've actually only used 4.5. Okay. So we're okay for fuel. So it looks like we're using less than predicted. Yep. Okay, radios, they are tuned at the moment to Unicom and uh, the standby is ready for the Manchester approach. Okay. Uh, the engine T's and P's. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Engines at cruise RPM. Yep. Um, we're at an altitude of expected. Yep. A little bit high. Yeah, just going to drop that down. I'll just um, done the D and B. So it should be reading 147, yeah, which is near enough, yep. And where is Gretna relative to the water? Is it on this side? Yep. <coughs> okay. I'm going to start yes. a turn now then. Yeah, you're over Gretna more or less, yeah. Okay, Gretna time, 12.18. So you're just going over Blencathra um, and Skidor is to your right. So if we are passing to the left of that, are we on track? You're bang on. Really? Absolutely well, well, bang on. That's more by luck than judgement. Yeah. So at what point do we need to tune to Manchester? About 25 miles to run before we're going to talk to approach. Oh, I drifted <coughs> off course as well. It's difficult to maintain your concentration all this time. Mm. I've been a bit left of the correct heading, so I'm just going to go a bit right for a while. And I'm approaching like a little sort of wiggly inlet from the water uh, which I think would be about right looking at the map yes exactly right exactly right shall we tune into Manchester now then get off yep. Unicom yep there you go thank you done I'll just go through a descent uh, checklist then. So the power is as desired at the moment. Yeah. The mixture at full rich. Uh, so no, I'm still slightly leaned because I'm still at 3,000 feet. Uh, the altimeter. Yeah, yeah, Nav yeah. GPS switch. Not using, away. No. 
fuel selector valve is both, and the flaps yeah. are as desired, which at the moment yeah. is nil. I suppose actually I should not have descended till we'd crossed the water. Because if we get an engine failure, we're scuppered at low level, aren't we? Okay, so I've now got um, an angle. I've now got uh, an indicator as to where we would end up if we lost power, so we would be <laughs> able to get to the land. Would we? Yep. Excellent. Would we turn left and head for? We that would bit? at the moment turn right. This is assuming I kept my cool and flew the plane properly, though. Uh, yes. If I panicked and just covered my face, we probably wouldn't <laughs> make it. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as you haven't got any controls, yeah. <laughs> Manchester Radar, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, request basic service. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie is go ahead. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie is a Cessna 172, Glasgow to Blackpool, currently 40 miles north west of Manchester, altitude 3,000 feet on Manchester QNH 1038, tracking to Fleetwood Golf Course. Golf Hotel Romeo Charlie, score code 7351. Squawk 7351, Golf Hotel Romeo Charlie. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, identified basic service. Basic service, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie. So we saw earlier that um, Blackpool doesn't have controlled airspace around it, but it might be controlled by uh, Wharton approach or if there's a London controller on, they might offer a service into Blackpool. It doesn't come under the Manchester area, but uh, we decide anyway to ask her if we can have some airfield information for coming into Blackpool, even though it's not her responsibility. Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, request airfield information for arrival at Blackpool. Oh uh, yeah, so I confirm runway two eight is right hand circuit, yep. So you're gonna be joining okay. you're gonna be joining right downwind. Okay. So I'm gonna follow this uh river now to our left. Because that sort yep. of takes us roughly the correct way, doesn't it? And then I'm yep. looking for Poulton. Go ahead. Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie at Blackpool, then variable at T-Nops, cover gate number 2 1 at 02.038 and QNH is 1038. Uh, QNH 1038, confirm uh, runway in use please, Golf Romeo Charlie. Golf Romeo Charlie, stand by, Golf Romeo Charlie, uh, runway 28 in use, Golf Romeo Charlie. Request uh, frequency change to Unicom 122.8 now then, Golf Romeo Charlie. Golf Romeo Charlie, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, thanks, Golf Romeo Charlie. Okay, I'll switch that. Switched, you're on okay. Unicom. Lovely. And will you squawk conspicuity as well then? Yep. Blackpool traffic, Golf Hotel Echo Romeo Charlie, so Cessna 172. 10 miles north, inbound for a right base join, runway 28, Blackpool. Golf and could you have a look up to see which way we need to vacate after arrival? Yeah. Going to vacate right onto taxiway delta, where which I will tell you when you're at. Okay, um, we should have done pre. This has caught me slightly on the hop. Should have done pre landing checklists. So let me just talk to Unicom. Blackpool traffic, Golf Romeo Charlie is joining uh, right base runway 28, turning final runway 28 to land, Blackpool. Okay, we'll just check that the seat belts, uh, seat backs are upright. Check seats and seat belts secured and locked. Brakes are off. Yeah. 
Back to there. Oh, yeah. Mixture is rich. Yep. Fuel selector is uh, both and fuel pump as required. And uh, autopilot is off. Flaps are stage whatever. T's and yep. P's, engine T's and P's look okay. Yep. Yeah, in the green. Landing yep. lights on. Yep. And a carb heat check. No carb heat in this aircraft. Hatches Ooh. and harnesses check. I'm okay. Mine's shut. Good. On final, flaps check. Yep. Altimeter check. Uh, one zero. Hang on. Can't see it. Yep. Correct. Okay. Uh, for landing, we need a speed of 65 to 75. Yeah. Airspeed. We're on that. We're nicely on track. Flaps are okay. Airspeed. Okay. Touchdown. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, all checks complete. It's a lesson learned there, isn't it? You just got to yeah. keep planning ahead uh -huh. all uh -huh. the time, haven't you? You can't switch off. Yeah. This is going to be butter. Have done that in your slippers. Brilliant. Well, actually, I am doing this in my slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Blackpool traffic, Golf Romeo Charlie has vacated runway 28, taxiing to North Apron, uh, Blackpool. Okay, so it's flaps up. Flaps coming up. Nav lights off. Nav lights off. Strobe off. Strobe off. Transponder on to standby. I've just done that. Um, <clears throat> landing lights off. Landing light off. Taxi lights on. Taxi on. Onwards you go. Okay, so shut down uh, checklist, so parking brake set. Set. Taxi light off. Off. Beacon off. Off. Avionics master off. Off. Uh, mixture cut. Yeah. The uh, fuel cut off close. That's interesting, isn't it? So that knob's still not yeah. working. Okay. Master switch is off and magneto's off. That completes the checklist. <laughs>